I would say geopolitics has been defined by where the oil reserves have been for the last 50 years, where the technology supply chains is more important for the next 50 years. Let's build them, let's control them, let's you know, define them to meet our economic and national security objectives for the future. That's why this is so important. That's why the president is here. That's why the CHIPS program office was set up. That's why Congress voted this way. And that's why today is so critically important and proud a moment. Uh, three years ago, some people were saying, why is Intel bothering with this manufacturing stuff? Really ought to just focus on design. Um, it seems to me that had you done that, boy, investors would be really freaking out right now. Because the design game, particularly in AI, there's lots of competition there. But where there doesn't seem to be any question is that we need more manufacturing capacity for all of this. So feeling a little vindicated, at least on the, on the outlines of the strategy? Well, when we laid out our strategy, you know, clearly we were taking investors on a journey. This is an expensive path. You know, building manufacturing, rebuilding the technology for it. And if investors are measuring us on a 90-day period or a one-year period, I laid out a five-plus-year strategy. And for them to you know, question that, if they're measuring things on a short-term basis, not surprised, but you have to be clear-minded about executing that strategy. And manufacturing, there's only maybe two or three companies that can do manufacturing at scale, the R&D, the capital requirements, and being able to simply operationalize manufacturing. I mean, you know, these facilities, John, they're some of the largest construction projects ever done on Earth, building the smallest things ever been built. You know, these are truly marvels of manufacturing R&D research and technology. And every one of those AI chips, they need this stuff going into the future.